Hello and welcome to my channel Breathe and Pose. It is Shweta Agarhari. Today we will be talking about Agya Chakra or Ajna Chakra or Third Eye Chakra. So we will be practicing few yoga poses and I will list few other yoga poses that you can include plus a pranayama or a couple of pranayamas. I will practice one and I will list the other one that you can practice on your own and otherwise or I can also link it to the video. Let's get started. First, to activate your third eye chakra, candle gazing or tratak meditation, tratak pranayama is the best to practice. But if you are a beginner, I would not recommend you to do it. Once you are already a yogic practitioner and you have been practicing pranayama for a long time or at least three months, then you can get into candle gazing or Thratak Pranayama or Thratak Meditation. Um, if not, um, just practice Om Meditation, chanting Om. So we can practice that and I'll let you know how to um, practice Thratak Pranayama too at the same time. So here, start with sitting in a crisscross position, Sukhasana or the Padmasana, Padmasana, whichever makes it easier for you. Just place, if you're placing, sitting in a Padmasana, pull your put both feet on top of your thighs. Place your hands in front of you, arm facing upward. And your hands, shoulder relaxed. When ready, close your eyes. Start with breathing normally. If you need to take a few deeper breath, if you're tired, if your heart is racing faster, just take a deep breath through your nostril and then breathe out. Inhale, a little deeper and exhale. Once you get back to your normal breathing, once you get in, you start to get a little calmer, come back to natural breathing. Inhale and exhale, just continue to breathe normally. While you are practicing this, I'm going to talk about Om Meditation. So Om Meditation is three part, A, U and Ma. So we breathe in. As you breathe in, take a try to take a little deeper breath. It doesn't have to be really, really deep. Just a little deeper than the normal. Then you start to chant A, U and Ma. Okay? Breathe. Let's start. Let's do it together. Inhale a little deeper. A. not too forcefully just keep your eyes both eyes concentrated on your third eye so feel see something in between your eyes or big eyes you can feel your light bright light or eye or flower or your deity just imagine on your third eye and you focus your both eyes in your outer eyes are closed your inner eyes are wide open you're focusing your both eyes onto your third eye inhale and chant Om. For this, A is a little shorter and then Ma U is a little longer and Ma is the, is the longest one. A, U and Ma. Practice this at least starting with 2 to 3 minutes then go up to 5 minutes and you can increase as you as your um, length of practicing pranayama. Once you are done practicing Om Pranayama, stay there for a few breaths. Normal, Breathing, natural breathing. 
and open your eyes first looking onto the floor and raising your the eyelids up and looking into the front and looking all around your room. That's how you practice Om Pranayama. If you want to practice Tata Pranayama, either, either you can do um, candle gaze or if you are a beginner, I would uh, suggest you to do a black dot. Keep a black dot like three feet away from you. You can put, put it uh, in front of the wall and just put a black dot. You can print it out from the uh, on a A4 size paper, black dot and keep it in front of the wall straight and then gaze onto that black dot. And that can be the beginner, beginning if you are new uh, to pranayama or fairly new to pranayama. Uh, if a candle, again, put, keep it three feet away, one meter away from you. Keep it on the table in front of you so that your mind is concentrated, your eyes are concentrated, focused on the candle light around it. And then black dot, just look straight into the black dot and keep your eyes open, stare at it as long as you can. And blink, if you need to blink, blink. Again, don't get distracted. Blink a couple times and again, open your eyes and continue with staring. That's how you practice, practice Pratar Pranayama. And this is really, really good for your, um, to activate your third eye chakra. But it cannot be done if you are doing only for once or twice. You have to be consistent and very regular. Then only uh, there is a chance you can activate your third eye chakra. It takes lots of patience and consistency. That's what all I can say. Okay, so moving to yoga poses now. To activate your uh, third eye chakra or agya chakra, we will be practicing two yoga poses. So first is Prasavita Padottana Asana. To do that, you're going to stand up on your feet, spread out your feet. As you breathe in, raise your hands up, spreading out. Breathing out to bend forward. Then from your hinge, extend your back spine and slowly drop your hands. Try to hold on to your feet and then drop your head towards the floor. Your crown of the head is parallel to the floor. Here you can breathe in and out or hold your breath, whichever you feel comfortable and stay here. As you breathe in, raise your hands up. We're going to repeat one more time. Breathe out. Breathing out, you're slowly bending forward, hold on to your feet and then you can hold your, during the pose you can hold on to your breath or inhale or exhale. If you have a headache, if you have low blood pressure, high blood pressure, do not practice this pose. If you have a slight little bit headache, you can practice that, that will actually help. So here, breathe in and out and hold. Raise your hands as you breathe in. You can repeat this three to four counts, but I'm doing only two sets here. This is how you do Prasarita Padottana Asana. Alright. Next, we will be practicing Bandha Virabhadra Asana. Roll your left foot towards the wall. Bend your knees. When your knees and your heels are in parallel line, in one line, face your body towards the wall. Interlock your hand behind. Inhale here. Breathing up, breathing, breathing out, bend forward, raise your hands up and stay there. Breathe in and out or hold your breath. Inhale and exhale. Breathing in, raise your head up. Straighten your knees and relax your hand. Now roll your feet towards the other side. Same thing. Bend your knees first. 
इमेजेस एनी थिंग हैज टू बी सीन लाइन इंटरलॉक योर हैंड बिहाइंड राइट एंड देन ब्रीथिंग ब्रीथिंग आउट बेन फॉरवर्ड इजी हैंड्स होल्ड ऑन टू योर ब्रेथ एंड ब्रीथिंग इन आउट As you breathe in, relax your head, straighten your knees, and come back. You can repeat this two to three sets on each side. 